I'm Steve Porter with your Diz Daily Fix for February 20th, 2017. Here's what's happening today. Last September, we told you that Jon Favreau was set to reimagine The Lion King by bringing the 1994 classic animated feature to life in a brand new way. Saturday night, Favreau made two casting announcements for The Lion King from his Twitter account, and we're excited to share them with you. James Earl Jones will once again uh, voice the role of Mufasa, which he did in 1994, and the extraordinarily talented Donald Glover will voice the adult Simba. The live-action reimagining of The Lion King is next in line after recent iterations of animated classics such as Cinderella, The Jungle Book, and Beauty and the Beast, which is coming to theaters March 17th. I'm excited about this. You can't beat James Earl Jones uh, voicing Mufasa. Really, there's no other option. And if you don't know about Donald Glover, he's seriously super talented as a writer, actor, rapper, stand-up comedian. The guy's amazing. I'm a giant fan of his, so I just think this is, you know, a awesome fit awesome he's gonna do awesome in this role so i'm very excited in other news according to the orlando sentinel the animal rights organization PETA is attempting to push SeaWorld entertainment investors into a vote that would send the company's killer whales to seaside sanctuaries PETA is interestingly enough a shareholder in SeaWorld, and as a big enough investor they can submit a resolution via a proxy statement to be brought up at the annual shareholders meeting SeaWorld is staunchly opposed to sending their killer whales to seaside sanctuaries, believing that putting the orcas in untested sanctuaries poses a threat to their health and their lives. Uh, Because of this, SeaWorld is hoping to exclude PETA's resolution, and by doing so, they've written the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to attempt to take out PETA's bid. Disney's Hollywood Studios has closed the alternative security line that is near the guest relations window outside the park. This access point was used by guests walking from the television and film lots. It's basically like on the left-hand side if you're walking towards the park. Um, And so there's no longer any security guards there to be able to to check your bags. So all guests are redirected by a cast member to the main security checkpoint. Um, And it's unclear if this security checkpoint is going to come back. But I hope it is because I loved it. You know, it was a lot easier to get in if you knew about that entrance. But, oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, the walkway is still open for guests who are leaving the park, though. So that's good, I guess. Today's featured article is from Mike Campbell. His article uh, is a dining review at, bre- at of Breakfast at Steakhouse 55 in Disneyland, at the Disneyland Hotel titled Breakfast at a Steakhouse? Yes, please. Be sure to check out his article on WDWinfo.com. Trending on Disboards today is a thread asking for recommendations of things to do uh, are things Disney offers but doesn't aver- advertise. The thread was started by poster Jody Lynn C and has a lot of interesting things to do around Walt Disney World that you may or may, or may not be aware of. Things like special tours of the resorts, the restaurants, and even like the flag ceremony at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Uh, a lot of these ac- activities are not necessarily advertised, so you want to check out the thread on our Disney World Tips forum uh, at dis- disboards.com. Excuse me, I cannot talk today. Tomorrow's weather forecast in Anaheim has partly cloudy skies with a high of 69 and a low of 51. And here in Orlando, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 81 and a low of 61. You can find links to all these stories and more on our Daily Fix main page at www.info.com slash Daily Fix. That'll do it for me today. Be Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.